It's day two of the expo, and we're walking there now from the hotel. And uh, I feel like I got through most of uh, everything yesterday, so today the game plan is to find comb, meet up with some people that I missed yesterday, and uh, see if I overlooked anything. Oh, what up? What's up? Good to see you. So we have two new flavors for Good Belly. Strawberry banana. And a peach mango. Both gluten free and both of them are delicious. And here's what they look like. So maybe uh, early next year you'll see these in stores. And remember this video and say, Vegan Zombie said these were good. So I'm gonna pick them up and try them. And I'm gonna pick up this snazzy little bag. I just told some vendor over there that I didn't want any bags, but then I saw this, so. So here we have the crab cakes, Maryland style crab cakes. And these are fish cakes, kind of like a haddock white fish cake. I'm here with Chad Sarno, good catch creator, and also my my teacher, uh, Ruby Plant Based Cooking School. So, uh, what's new with Good Catch? What's new with Good Catch? So, another trade show. We are uh, we are showcasing the Good Catch products. We have two shelf stable products, three frozen. This is a fish-free tuna. We're a uh, plant-based seafood line. They, uh, there was such a dire need to uh, offer more alternatives to our friends in the sea. Uh, there's not many that, that that are out there in this space. It's pretty much a white space, you know. And uh, uh, we're just really excited to be at the show. We are are not launching yet. We're not launching till uh, yeah, I'd say spring uh, 2018. But at Expo West, we will have product. We will have product on shelves, and uh, we'll be able to get more information there when that comes about. So, can you talk about what it's made out of? Like, what yeah. kind of protein? We're yeah. Using? So we have uh, uh, it's 17 grams of protein per serving, and it's a six bean blend. It's a proprietary blend that was. Uh, Six different beans. These are our ingredients. These are our main ingredients here, which is basically uh, we have soybeans and navy beans and lentils and 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 peas and and uh, chickpea and fava. So we use six beans that really create through the technology that we're working with. It really creates a, that thin layer of protein that sort of a tuna has, you know. So unlike uh, unlike chickens and things like that, that are more bouncy, right? Uh, when it comes to texture. So um, so we have we have two shelf stable products. We have a tuna in oil and a tuna in water. It's going to be a little bit bigger in five ounces. Uh, we'll also offer for food service, uh, which you'll, you'll start seeing it everywhere in the next, I'd say, 12 months. So. And it's, it all tastes really good. I'm, I've never been a seafood lover, but this is delicious. It doesn't have that like overly fishy. Yeah, it's not ice. offensive, right? Yeah, it's we good. Have, we have a lot of people that come over and say, and come over first. And I, I don't like seafood. Am I going to like it? And you know, encourage them to try it. And, and uh, you know, people love it because it's not offensive. Like it, seafood. It's not and what about the people that are? Uh, they say they eat the fish to get the omegas and stuff. Yeah. You've already added all that. Yeah. So it's uh, so one of our packets holds up pretty close next to an albacore, high quality tuna when it comes to nutritionally, without the mercury, of course. So uh, six beans blend gives you that 17 grams of protein. Uh, albacore is around the same amount. Also we have an EPA DHA blend so it's uh, very high in omegas um, and uh, you know low sodium, low fat and just, uh, just clean product, clean plants man. That's what it's all about you know. Awesome. So, so well thanks, we're man. looking forward to it. Thanks for coming by bro. All right awesome. Appreciate it. I'm here with Lauren, the co-founder of Alpha Foods. They have amazing burritos. And I just found out he also helped open Good Karma, which I'm always promoting the Good Karma flax milk. It's no carrageenan, B12 in it, it's delicious. All, you know, all the good things. And I just also found out between the two of us, we have almost 
60 years of being vegan. You've been vegan for 35 years. 35 years, man. Uh, 23 for me this week, and um, yeah. so tell us a little bit about Alpha. Oh, I'd love to. Thanks, Chris. Well, Alpha Foods was founded with the idea of doing like just more plant-based convenience items. You know, we're all about plant-based, and we're the only burrito company or kind of convenient company today that's like fully vegan, kind of top to bottom. No egg whites, no dairy, no nothing, and it kind of stems from our earliest days when we learned about you know how your food choices impact the planet, we just really, you know felt we need to make a big difference and have it number one taste really delicious, so we'd be inclusive for everybody, and just we want something that's convenient, fast, and easy. You could do multiple times a day. That was kind of like the the inspiration for Alpha Foods. And I've had several vegan burritos throughout the years. Um, I always like making my own the best, but if you're gonna buy them in the store, I mean these are so delicious. The the burrito shell in particular is nice and it's got a great taste to it. It's nice and flaky or crispy. Yep. Um, I really like it. I had the, the Philly cheesesteak, I've had the, the Mexican one, and then the fajita. There's one I haven't tried. The pizza. The pizza. I haven't tried yep. the pizza. So I gotta try that. Um, cool. It was great meeting hey, you. Hey, great to meet you, Chris. And I definitely man. check it out. Uh, Alpha Foods and Good Karma. Thank you. And it's a beautiful location. Hopefully a vegetable or two will be there. Yeah. Where are we at? Yeah. So, yeah. Earth Fair? Earth Fair. What's that? Uh, it's a health food store. Oh, cool. In Ohio. In Ohio. Loma Linda and Neat. New products. We got cookies, brownies. We got the taco filling. I'll say it again. When you're at the expos and you're trying all these foods and I'm sure you're eating things with sodium and whatnot. You get really thirsty. I have had my fare of juices, but all I wanted was a nice water. And I just walked by uh, a booth and giving out Sea Force water by Chuck Norris. So this is Chuck Norris water from Chuck Norris's ranch. Let's we'll see how it tastes. I feel like a ninja. There's a little safety interlock here, right? This is gonna do two things. So this can be safer, but more importantly, this is gonna be better, especially if you're using this in a restaurant. East, done. Now we're heading back to the hotel. We're gonna meet up for dinner. The vegan meetup, the Encantada, hosted by Eco Vegan Gail Whitney. And uh, I'll see you there. Every street around here is being blocked off by cops. I gotta say, it's kind of eerie not knowing what's going on. And all traffic has stopped here in, uh, near the inner harbor of Baltimore. Kendra. <laughs> How is it? It's pretty good. You don't have a face that says it. <laughs> we have the cauliflower pickles. <laughs> Alright. It's good though? It's good, but it's spicy. 